Hello there, what's up? Uh, in this video, I want to talk about exploiting breakthroughs and how to get the upper hand even if you're losing a war of attrition. Uh, let me just go through the background of this particular match here. We, If you'll pay attention to the victory point counter, you'll see that we only have 42 victory points left. So at this point in the game, we are on the brink of defeat. It's, this is a three versus three, and we're playing as the Germans. So, I'm playing as Wehrmacht, Austrian commander, and my allies, my two allies, have been pushing the center and bottom half of the map for the last 24 minutes. The craters in the ground should uh, clue you in that there has been a lot of indirect fire, and the attrition has been just far too much for my allies to to keep up with manpower wise and myself i've also suffered some pretty heavy losses at the hands of the enemy's indirect fire but i kind of got lucky because uh the guy that was pushing in my lane only had one howitzer one pack howitzer so uh the enemy over here they have uh you know one sherman uh but they also this guy i think he gets multiple calliopes you can see he has a calliope here he has well, I think he gets another one at some point. But uh, the Russian player has one, two Calliope. Uh, no, I'm sorry, one, two Katyushas. Okay, there's the other Calliope right there. So, and T-34. So they're very heavily investing in indirect fire. Oh, another Katyusha there. Okay, so the enemy is investing almost all of their fuel into indirect fire with, you know, a few tanks, a few medium tanks. Um this player in my lane, I saw an opportunity here to make a breakthrough because I noticed that he only has one Jackson and one Scott and not a ton of infantry support. So let me show you what happens here. I noticed that these vehicles are lightly defended, so I take the opportunity to push my Pack 40 up. And I do get some free shots on it. If you watch here, I do get a few free shots on the Scott as well as the Jackson. And once I realize that that attack is succeeding, I do get a Panzerfaust off. I I see the attack is succeeding, I push up. And I'm going to commit to destroying that Jackson. There's prioritized vehicles. The Jackson does... The Jackson is destroyed, now I focus the Scott. The Scott is destroyed. And instead of stopping at this point, I didn't consider stopping. I decided I was going to keep going and, and see what else I could destroy. And luckily for me, I see Orange's ambulance here, which was easy pickings for my Panzer IVs. These units have no chance. They get completely annihilated. Major, a couple mortar pits, and an ambulance. And then I keep going. I decide I'm trying to get three for one here. I find a Katyusha. I'm able to destroy that easily. Then I run into his T-34 and decide to destroy that. Fortunately, I never got reinforcements here, so my, my Panzers don't have a ton of uh, life expectancy here. And that T-34 is going to go down. And even though I do lose these Panzers, at this point the damage has been done. The other... The other team has no chance to recover from that kind of loss. So now my allies can pick up the slack. My teammate does get a Tiger. And my other teammate has a Panther. So at this point, uh, they're at such a disadvantage, manpower and resource-wise, that uh, the rest of the match was, was trivial to come back from. Despite the fact that we have so few victory points, it was too difficult for the enemy to recover from all those losses. But hopefully that gives you guys an idea of how to counter players that insist on overcommitting to indirect fire. You just need to be more aggressive and you need to try to break their lines and disrupt all their soft targets.